Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm gonna show you the process that I used to create this blog website. Uh, I've designed this blog website completely in Adobe XD and I'm gonna transform this uh, design into a real WordPress website. So that's going to be very exciting. And you guys ask um, if I could make more videos about the process. Uh, but the process of design is a complicated process and it's a very long process. And I don't want to make a, a tutorial of like five hours because that would be really boring. So I thought, you know what, why not make a speed up version of what I'm actually doing. So that is what you're seeing right here in the background. Uh, the first thing that I did is of course look for inspiration. I don't try to come up with the solutions myself. I first always look at what other people have done. So what I did is I went to teamforest.com and I searched for other popular blog teams. So as you can see, I really spent some time on the research and I tried to find ideas from a user experience standpoint. Uh, so what I'm actually doing here is I'm trying to understand why these blogs sell so well. Uh, maybe it's because of the nice design, but maybe it's also because of how the content is structured. So from this point in the video, I'm not looking at the visuals. I'm only looking at the content. Like what does a blog post grid look like? How do they place ads? How does a sidebar look? How does a blog post page look? And then I started with the wireframing phase where I started with gray and very boring fonts, but just to get a structure right. Because I saw a lot of good ideas in some blogs, but also some things that I thought was not really that well designed. So I tried to pick the best ideas for this blog. And this blog is about health. So I wanted a big header picture uh, to be on top of the website. So it really looks like a personal blog with a personal intro. I also wanted the blog post grid to be very readable. So your eyes don't have to move from left to right. So then the design is more similar on what you would find on social media. You just scroll from top to bottom and you can read all the text in the same line. And this also, of course, looks a lot cleaner. Uh, so that's what I did for the wireframing phase. And of course, I also designed a footer. I really wanted to have a, an Instagram embed inside of the website. Just a really simple and clean footer because this website is about the content itself. The content ne needs to speak for itself. Uh, so that's what I did for the wireframes. And then I was done with the wireframing phase and I started with the visual design. So what I did is I went back to all the teams, uh, screenshots that I took, and I started to look at the visuals, like what kind of fonts do they use? How big are they? And what I oftentimes do is I try to replicate exactly uh, a few styles that I like. And then I did some little experiments to find out what style would fit this healthy blog. Uh, so I experimented with fonts, I downloaded a few new fonts, and then when I was finally happy with the structure, uh, that was when I started the design. And I think this is very important if you want to uh, work in a very efficient way, because if you think about the fonts and the styles and the colors beforehand, uh, you're gonna have a very nice experience when you actually start building the visual part of the website. And as you can see right now, it, it didn't take really long before the website really started to come to life. And it was beautiful almost immediately. I changed a few things uh, here and there. I put the content in and now you can see that this is a real blog that you can use. Uh, so then the homepage was done. I uh, previewed it and I checked if I hadn't missed something. And then I went on to the other pages. Because of course I also needed a blog post page because now I only had designed the home page and I also need a page for a single blog post. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I also created a category page. Uh, so for example, you have a page with only blog posts about uh, lunch. Uh, and this is also really easily to do in WordPress. So I also wanted to have a ready design for that. Um, and the last thing that I did was create the contact page. And you can see right here that I experimented a little bit with the input fields um, because I was not really sure if I wanted to have an outline or just a solid color. Eventually I decided to go for an outline because then it was really clear on the website that all the solid colors were buttons or backgrounds and the outlines were input fields. And those are just a little details that I think make a design a lot better. Uh, so that's when I ended up with a website like this.
Uh, so yeah, so let's just click on uh, the breakfast for example. So here you can see the category page where you can see very clearly that these are only articles which have the tag breakfast. I didn't change the text over here, but that is what will happen in WordPress. So that looks also pretty good. And let's now click on an actual blog item like this. Okay, boom, very clean, very simple. And there you can see a date over here. There are links, there are bold texts. And at the end of the blog post, you can share this post and you can go to the next or the previous post. And there are related articles uh, that, that are also within the same category. Again, I didn't change the text over here, but that, that will work inside of WordPress. And then the last thing that I did is the contact page. Uh, so let's click on the contact page for now. And let's, let's look at this, it looks really simple, really nice. The signature over here and a contact form. And what's really nice about this little project is that I can now put this inside of my portfolio and I can show clients like, hey, I can design a personal blog website for you. What I also wanna say uh, is, is having a design file like this is super nice because now you can really easily change up the style. So let's say you have another client that has a fitness blog. So this is the version for a healthy blog. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this file and I'm gonna make a copy of my XD file, which I'm gonna call blog design fitness. And inside of this new uh, XD file, I can delete all of my old artboards like this. And still all of my assets are active over here. So what I can do right now is I can change all the colors uh, and then all of these pages will change because I've worked completely out of the assets panel. So let's say I have a fitness client. So I've already prepared some images over here. So uh, let's say that, that, that my clients send me this image and she says that her style is red, right? So you want to have a red color palette. So what I would do then is I would change the main color uh, to the red. So for example, this color over here, let's change that to red right now. So I'm gonna only change the U value over here and maybe make this one a little bit more intense something like this. So now you can see that, that the U value over here is, is 360. So let's change that for all these styles right now. All right, so now all of my elements are red, as you can see, that looks already a lot different. And now I'm also gonna change the main fonts. Okay, so that already looks a lot different. And now we're gonna also change up the images. So as you can see, I've just changed up some images and now we have a completely different website with a completely different style. Now the main color is red. I've changed the logo over here. I've changed the images and the fonts. Now this is a two column grid instead of a one. The fonts are a lot more modern. I've changed up the ad a little bit. How cool is this? And of course you can customize it even more, but I just wanted to show you my process, how I work when I create a website and that I really care about the asset panel in Adobe XD because now I can just change all the fonts uh, inside of all the artboards without having to click on all the items and change it. Uh, so that was my process for this website. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get updated on how I transform this website into a real personal blog on WordPress, then you should definitely subscribe or uh, click on the bell if you want to get a notification. Uh, that's it for now. I hope to see you in the next video.